Good morning. We're glad that you're here. Welcome to Ridge Kids. And if you've joined us already this month, we have something special for you. And as we're working our way through December, we're looking towards Christmas and we're talking about what that means. And our theme really for our older kids, uh, and this continues with all of our age groups, but we're celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. So think about kids, what are you most excited for? Like what would be the greatest gift that you could imagine that as you unwrap it on Christmas morning, that you would just be hoping was in that box or bag or whatever it is? Think about what that is. Parents, what would that be for you? When we really think about it though, what is the reason that we're celebrating Christmas? And that is because of Jesus. So God sent this gift and whatever you would unwrap on Christmas morning, Jesus is like, a million times greater than anything we could ever get here on earth. And we, uh, we can accept his love and we can live for him and know that he came for us. So I just encourage you to think about that gift this morning. We're going to start off with our Ridge Kids Junior service for our preschool, toddler, and kindergartners. We hope that you get up and sing together and pray together and watch the Bible story together. And then we'd love for you to stick around or if you have an older student, stay with us. We're going to have our Ridge Kids service uh, for first through sixth grade. At the very end, I'm going to come back and ask you guys a few things and see how it went. But I want you to think about that and how can we celebrate Jesus knowing that that's God's greatest gift ever. So enjoy the service. I'll see you back soon.
hi friends! I'm Jayla, and this is my Christmas train. It's running through this beautiful green meadow. And guess what's in the meadow? Shout it out if you know. Yes, it's a sheep. I put sheep in the field to make it extra special. Don't they look great? Now for the fun part. This remote will make the train go. Are you ready? Me too. Let's go. First we'll start off slow. And then faster. Wow, look at how fast it goes. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Ho, ho. Racing a Christmas train, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I wish I could go super fast in a real train. Moving fast is fun. It's true. I know some people who ran super fast, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. I'm Luis the Handyman, but today I'm pretending to be a train conductor. Can you blow your pretend train whistle with me? Woo, woo! <laughs> Great job! I'm so glad you are here today. Are you ready to learn more about the true story of Christmas? Ooh, you are? Well then, all aboard the Christmas story train. On the count of three, can you say, all aboard with me. Uno, dos, tres. All aboard. <laughs> the Christmas story train is here to help me tell today's true story from the Bible. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's story begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel with a special message for Mary. The angel said that Mary was going to have a baby, and that baby would be Jesus, God's son. Then, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way to the town of Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, did they stay in a big fancy castle? No, they stayed in a stable full of animals. And then, baby Jesus was born. That night, there were shepherds out in the field taking care of sheep. What sound do sheep make? <laughs> you sound great! <laughs> While the shepherds were watching their sheep, an angel appeared in the sky. There was a bright light shining all around. The shepherds were so afraid. <gasps> oh, show me your best afraid face. <gasps> oh, good job. But the angel said, don't be afraid. God's son Jesus has been born. You will find him in a manger. And suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels, praising God and singing glory to God in the highest. Oh, everyone, stand up with me. Let's all pretend to be angels. Hold out your pretend angel wings. And let's say glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Oh, that was great. Again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, great job. <laughs> okay, you can sit down. Now, what do you think the shepherds did next? The shepherds ran super fast. Oh, wow, so fast. <laughs> Where do you think the shepherds went? Hmm? The shepherds went to go find baby Jesus, and they found him just like the angel said. Jesus, God's son, had been born. 
God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that whistle means it's time for the Christmas story train to leave. But the true story of Christmas isn't over yet. Come back next time to hear more. But for now, everyone wave goodbye to the Christmas story train. Bye, story train. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. The shepherds ran to see Jesus after they heard the good news. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the shepherds were so excited that they ran to find Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. The shepherds ran fast, and this train can go fast too. Let's watch it. See you next time. Child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping when angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping this this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him by the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold and myrrh, confess and Salvation brings then loving hearts and throne him. Raise, raise a song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joy for Christ is born, the babe, the son. This is Christ the King, whom 
shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him God, the babe, the son of Mary. Nail spear shall pierce him through the cross he bore for me, for you. Hail, hail the Word made flesh, the babe, the Son of Mary. Oh, why thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I believe the thanks belong to you. Not one thanks to me, but many thanks to you. To you. You, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! 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 Gratitude is exhausting. Thank you. Yeah. What? You? Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Thanks. For what? For saying that. For saying what? For saying welcome to the so-and-so show. Oh, uh, did you want to do it? No, that's why I said thank you. You know, there are so many reasons to say thank you. In fact, let's find out some more with someone who knows stuff. Hans! All right, welcome. Yes, welcome. Thank you uh, for being here. Can you uh, tell everyone who you are and what you know? Yeah, I am Hans Decimal. Sound collector. Yeah, so you collect sounds. Yeah, this is correct. And what sounds are you collecting today? Sounds made from this. The voice box. Ah. Right. Yeah, the... The, the voice box. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what is language but a grouping of sounds? A, k, v, u, i, z, p. But when we put certain sounds in order, s, a, n, k, y, u, they mean something. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is correct. One of the greatest combinations of sounds in the English language. Thank you. So I have collected sounds of people saying thank you in various circumstances. Oh, okay, that sounds fun. Not fun, but good, yeah. Oh, yes, good. Yeah. 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 This is the sound of someone saying thank you to a stranger who opens the door for them. Hmm. Oh, thank you. That was... Profound! This is correct. Mm -hmm. Next, this is the sound of someone saying thank you after someone else lets him cut in line at the grocery store and they notice that their cart only had two items as compared to the other cart which had a full set of groceries. Thank you. That was a... Uh, mm. This is correct. I, it just feels like they, they, they need to be a little more specific or something. Yeah. It is taking the time of saying the thank you 
That's what is most important, Brandon. Okay. Uh, do you have any more? Is the sun shining? I don't know. We're in a basement. Oh. Yeah. This is correct. Well, the sun is shining. Okay. And I always have more. Great. So, this is the sound of someone saying, thank you for climbing a tree and saving the cat of this family whose name is Bill. Thank you. Someone named her cat Bill? Ah, nine. The cat's name is actually William, but they call him Bill for short. Ah, she's not used to animals having human names. You know, normally they're called Fluffy or, or Marshmallow. Or... I don't name the cats, John. I just collect the sounds. So. Oh. This. This is seeing a fish. And the fish is so beautiful that it makes you want to dance and cry at the same time, and so you must express your gratitude to the fish. Oh, that, that's interesting. I, I didn't quite understand it. What did, he, what did he say? Let me play it again. Thank you? Yeah! This is correct. <laughs> and finally, I'll let this one be a surprise. Thank you! What was that? This was the sound of a person who had fallen out of a tree on und hike and is thanking the person of putting their broken leg in a splint who is now carrying them away from the danger of a bear that is chasing them both. Wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. But they still found the time to say thank you. <laughs> this is what is most important. Hans, that's all the time we have for today. I appreciate you coming by. Mm -hmm. So thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You are both so very welcome. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's Bible story time! What's up, friends? Just learning all the ways to say thank you. Yeah. Well, our story today has to do with someone saying thank you to Jesus. Oh, well then take it away. You can read this story yourself in the book of Luke. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and as he was going into a village, he came upon 10 men with a terrible skin disease. Because of this disease, these men were outcasts. No one wanted anything to do with them but they called out to Jesus and he stopped and... Do you hear that? Hello, Don Slightly here for Ancient News, where we get to the bottom of life's most ancient questions, like hot dogs. Are they a sandwich? But right now, we give you this breaking ancient news update. Ten men with a terrible skin disease just met Jesus. Yes, that Jesus, as Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem. We go now live to two of the gentlemen right now. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, Don. Have we got a story for you? So you actually met Jesus? We did. You know, we've heard stories about Jesus. He's famous around these parts. So when he came walking up the road, we couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. And well, what did you do when you saw him? Oh, we started yelling at him. Oh, yelling at, oh, at Jesus? Oh, yeah, but not like angry yelling, just like excited yelling. We were yelling to him because we have this skin disease. Not have, had. We had. <laughs> right, had. We had a terrible skin disease, and we shouted for Jesus to have mercy on us. And what? did Jesus do? 
he told us to go show ourselves to the priests. So we started that way when suddenly we looked at each other and we were all healed. The skin disease was gone. It was a miracle. Oh, 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 oh. I just thought of something. I I'll be right back. Healed by Jesus, a miracle. Well, that's all the ancient breaking news we have for now. Back to you. Well, as crazy as that was, that is just the beginning of the story. Jesus told these 10 men to show themselves to the priests and they were healed while they were walking there. Can you imagine? You've had this terrible disease and you're just walking with your friends and realize they're all healed. Well, one of the men, okay, I guess there's some, you know, let's just go with it. Don Slightly back with more breaking news. But before we do, let's thank our sponsors. Water. When you're thirsty, water. We now have one of our healed men back with us. Can you tell us just what happened? Sorry I ran away so fast. I just got to thinking. I had to go back and thank Jesus. Hmm. Well, it seems reasonable. Yes. So I went back just praising God, and I fell to Jesus' feet and said, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you said, thank you. Yes. I mean, I always try to thank people that do something kind for me. You have to make time for that sort of thing. But this was Jesus. I mean, he changed my life. The least I could do was say thank you. And what did Jesus say when you- Well, he asked- Where are the other nine men? <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I'd be asking. Yes, yes, that's exactly what he asked. All right, well, hold on. We're bringing in one of the other nine men that were healed right now. Hey, what's going on? Question for you, sir. Have you thanked Jesus since you've been healed? Who? Me? Yes, you. Oh, no. I don't have time to say thanks. I gotta live my life. Make up for lost time. I mean, look at this smooth skin. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Slightly. Gotta go. Well, what did Jesus say after you thanked him? He said, didn't anyone else return to give praise to God except this outsider? I think he was surprised that me, a Samaritan, was the only one that came back. There are some people that treat me kind of badly because of where I'm from, but not Jesus. He told me to get up and go, that my faith had healed me. What a story. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Well, that's all we have here at Ancient News. Tune in tomorrow when we discuss papyrus. Paper? Font? What's next? Papyrus AI? Back to you. Jesus healed 10 men, and only one of them took the time to come back and say thank you. It seems crazy. But if we're honest, sometimes we forget to say thank you when someone does something nice for us. It's important to remember to have gratitude and to let people know when you're grateful. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, what a great story. Yeah. yeah, can you believe that only one person went back and said thank you to Jesus? Yeah, I, I guess it's easy to forget sometimes. Yeah. I'm forgetting something right now. Yeah, me too. Oh, reveal the question. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. Shh. What helps you remember to be grateful? Oh yeah, it's easy for me to remember to have gratitude when it's a routine, like every time I eat, I remember to thank God for my meal. Yeah, and if it's not a routine, maybe it would help you remember if you really paid attention to what the people around you are doing. Mm. Like uh, when you see someone in your house doing your laundry or, or washing your dishes or, or doing anything for you, just remind yourself to just say thank you. Yeah. Oh, and same with other people in your world. You can thank your teachers for helping you learn or uh, oh, your postal carrier for bringing the mail. Yeah, there are lots of people who deserve our gratitude. It's up to us to take time to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Brandon, for doing the show with me yeah, today. My pleasure, thank you. Th and thank you for watching. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Thank you. Thank you thank for you, watching. Thank, thank you, you for watching thank the thank you thank you show for the acting. with me. Thank you for show. doing thank what you. you're doing. Thank you. You're falling out of a plane on your parachute fails and your diving partner catches up to you in the air and catches you under their parachute. Thank you! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, you're on a roller coaster uh -huh. and the person next to you reminds you to put on your seatbelt. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you, you, you've been dying of thirst, and somebody gives you a pineapple. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. If you haven't read it, and I'm, I'm thinking you guys will or you have already, but in Luke chapter 2, so verses 1 through 7, today we looked at Jesus being born. And sometimes you've read that a lot, but I just encourage you to go back and read it and really, really... Put yourself there and think about what was that like when Jesus was born? What were the people thinking? Um, what was going on in the, in, in the, just in the manger and just knowing that uh, this was the Savior of the world? So think about that and what would that be like? Maybe put yourself there and imagine that you were there, uh, that you were there when Jesus was born. And then take that and think about how can you extend that throughout the week and just thinking about as we build up to Christmas um, Jesus' birth and what that means for you and what that means for me. And I want you to remember the bottom line that we talked about. It says that you can have joy because God sent Jesus. So have you guys ever, anybody at home, have you guys went through some hard times this last year? Anything that you've struggled with? I know that I have. Um, and sometimes it's hard to have joy. Have you guys ever had a hard time having joy? It's been the case for me. But remembering the truth of, of God and knowing that God sent Jesus for us, for me, and we can have joy because of that. So I would just, I challenge you, right, joy on a, on a sticky note and put it on your wall or Jesus and just think about how we can have joy because of that. And as we ramp up to next week and, and we get excited for Christmas, we can keep that on our minds. And don't forget our verse, Isaiah 9, 6, a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us. And that is Jesus, and he came for us, uh, and because of us, and because God's love for us. So enjoy your week, live out the love with others, and just, uh, and just share the good news of Jesus with people. I'd love to see you back here next week. So see you later, Ridge Kids.